Welcome to UpTops, and we hope you enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our future videos. Number 5 Did you do this? I thought I was saving. <laughs> Chloe? Are you? Don't Knock Twice, 2016, directed by Caradog W. James is a horror film that intertwines supernatural elements with a deeply emotional narrative about family and redemption. The plot centers on Jess, a recovering addict who strives to rebuild her relationship with her estranged daughter, Chloe. Their efforts are interrupted when Chloe knocks twice on a haunted door summoning a malevolent witch with a vengeful spirit. The film employs a mix of psychological horror and supernatural scares, creating a tense atmosphere throughout. Sakoff delivers a strong performance as a mother battling her own demons while trying to protect her daughter from a literal one. Boynton is equally compelling, portraying Chloe's vulnerability and fear convincingly. While Don't Knock Twice boasts an intriguing premise and some genuinely creepy moments, it occasionally falters with predictable plot twists and horror clichés. Nonetheless, its exploration of guilt, forgiveness, and maternal love adds depth to the chilling narrative, making it a worthwhile watch for horror enthusiasts. Number 4 Friend Request, 2016, is a horror thriller film directed by Simon Verhoeven that delves into the sinister side of social media. The story revolves around Laura, a popular college student who accepts a friend request from Marina, a lonely and mysterious classmate. After Laura unfriends Marina due to her obsessive behavior, Marina commits suicide and Laura's life takes a horrifying turn. Laura's social media accounts are hacked and her friends start dying under gruesome and inexplicable circumstances. As Laura investigates Marina's dark past, she discovers that Marina was involved in witchcraft, leading to the supernatural events haunting her and her friends. The film explores themes of isolation, the dangers of digital relationships, and the consequences of superficial online interactions. Despite a familiar plot, Friend Request delivers effective scares and a chilling atmosphere. The performances, particularly by Debnam Carey, add depth to the otherwise formulaic narrative. The film's use of social media as a conduit for horror resonates with contemporary audiences, making it a noteworthy entry in the modern horror genre. Number 3 The Lazarus Effect, 2015, directed by David Gelb, is a horror thriller that explores the consequences of playing God with life and death. The story follows a group of medical researchers, led by Frank and his fiancée E. E. Zoe, who discover a serum capable of bringing the dead back to life. When Zoe dies, in a tragic accident, the team decides to use the serum on her with terrifying results. Olivia Wilder delivers a compelling performance as Zoe, whose resurrection triggers a series of horrifying and violent events. The film delves into themes of morality and the unknown, as Zoe's return brings dark and supernatural forces into play. The tension builds effectively, supported by a strong cast that includes Donald Glover, Evan Peters, and Sarah Bolger. Despite its intriguing premise, the Lazarus Effect falls into familiar horror tropes with predictable jump scares and a somewhat underdeveloped plot. However, 
The film's atmospheric tension and Wilde's intense performance make it an engaging watch for fans of the genre, even if it doesn't break new ground in horror storytelling. Number 2 <gasps> Is anybody there? Polaroid, 2019, directed by Lars Klevberg, is a supernatural horror film that centers around a cursed vintage Polaroid camera. High school loner Bird Fitcher stumbles upon the antique camera and quickly discovers that anyone who has their picture taken with it meets a gruesome end. As the mysterious deaths begin to mount, Bird and her friends must unravel the dark history behind the camera to stop the malevolent force before it claims them all. The film creates an eerie atmosphere, relying on suspense and jump scares, rather than gore, to keep viewers on edge. The performances, particularly Prescott's, bring emotional depth to the otherwise straightforward horror narrative. The story's concept, reminiscent of classic horror themes like The Ring, is intriguing, but the execution feels somewhat predictable and formulaic. Despite its familiar plot, Polaroid offers enough chills and thrills to satisfy horror enthusiasts. It's a solid, if not groundbreaking, entry in the supernatural horror genre, making effective use of its creepy premise and delivering a few genuinely scary moments. Number one. I know you're in here. Oh, Jesus. You shot the maid. Does she look like she's wearing a giant white wedding dress, Emily? Ready or Not, 2019, directed by Matt Bettinelli Olfin and Tyler Gillett, is a thrilling horror comedy that blends dark humor with suspenseful action. The film follows Grace a newlywed who marries into the wealthy and eccentric La Domas family. On her wedding night, she discovers that she must participate in a deadly game of hide-and-seek as part of the family's sinister tradition. Samara Weaving delivers a standout performance, portraying Grace with a mix of vulnerability, resilience and fierce determination. The ensemble cast, including Adam Brody, Mark O'Brien and Andy McDowell, adds depth and intrigue to the twisted family dynamics. The film's script is sharp, with biting humor and clever twists that keep the audience engaged from start to finish. Ready or Not is notable for its inventive premise, stylish direction, and effective blend of horror and comedy. The film explores themes of survival, family loyalty, and class conflict, all while maintaining a brisk pace and delivering plenty of thrills. The climax is both shocking and satisfying, cementing Ready or Not as a modern cult favorite in the horror comedy genre. <laughs>